where did this thing start? Did it jump from an animal to humans, or, or was it a leak from a lab, a lab in Wuhan, China? American people probably like to know, after all, they've had their liberties assaulted for the past year. The World Health Organization did a study and issued a report, the same World Health Organization that Republicans on this committee asked to come in front of this committee three separate times, and the Democrats denied us our request. Their report said this, quote, it was extremely unlikely that the lab leak was the cause. Just one problem with that finding. Nobody believes them. President Biden's Director of National Intelligence, Avril Haines, said this, that's not our assessment. Secretary of State Blinken said, we've got real concerns about the methodology and process that went into the WHO report. Secretary of Health and Human Services, Bashara, former colleague of ours, said, quote, we have to understand how COVID surfaced, but the select committee in Congress on COVID doesn't want to know. Journalists want to know. Josh Rogan, Washington Post column two weeks ago, he starts his uh, column off by quoting our colleague, Congressman Gallagher, understanding the cause of the pandemic and ensuring that something like it never happens again is the most important question we face. He goes on to say this, the Republicans are taking the first steps in a long overdue effort, but without backing from Democrats who are conspicuously absent from these efforts, the investigations will struggle. Very true. The Select Committee on the Coronavirus won't look into how coronavirus started. I find that fascinating. I find that amazing. Nicholas Wade, former New York Times science writer, said this when looking at the two scenarios. He, quote, he says, quote, it's a stretch to get the pandemic to break out naturally outside of Wuhan and then without leaving a trace to make its first appearance in Wuhan. But he says this for the lab escape scenario. A Wuhan origin for the virus is a no-brainer. Wuhan is home to China's leading center for coronavirus research. Researchers were genetically engineering bat coronaviruses to attack human cells. They were doing so under minimal safety conditions. If the virus with an unexpected infectiousness had been generated there, its escape would be no surprise. Journalists want to know. Secretary of State wants to know. Secretary of Health and Human Services want to know, journalists want to know, Republicans want to know, Americans want to know. Why don't Democrats in Congress want to know where this thing started? Is it because Speaker Pelosi called it a diversion last year when we were raising these questions and asking to have these witnesses brought in front of us? Or maybe it's because, maybe it's because Dr. Fauci, the all-knowing Dr. Fauci, who Mr. Rogan in his piece said has, quote, repeatedly thrown cold water on the lab leak theory, maybe Dr. Fauci would have to answer some tough questions if we actually dug into how this thing started. Remember, Dr. Fauci gave EcoHealth $3 million. EcoHealth then gave $600,000 to the Wuhan lab. Did Dr. Fauci know about this arrangement when he okayed the grant? Did Dr. Fauci know the Wuhan lab did not operate with the highest level of safety standards as reported by our own State Department personnel in China? How about the process? There's a review board at HHS for any grants that do, quote, gain of function research. Now, two weeks ago, Dr. Fauci told Senator Paul that the grant to Wuhan lab was not, quote, gain of function research. But several respected doctors disagree, say it was. How does this review board process work? Who sits on the board? The truth is, nobody knows. The only thing we know about this board is its chairman, and we only know that because he disclosed it in January 2020. Report here. Chris Hassel, the chairman, disclosed his involvement January 2020 in a talk before the National Science Advisory Board for Biosecurity. He said during the talk that the current definition of what comes in front of his board is, quote, very narrow. Quote, I'll just probably be more frank than may be appropriate. I think it's too narrow. He then went on and suggested that the government could be funding gain-of-function research that his committee hasn't vetted. There's some important questions there for Dr. Fauci. How about the fundamental question? The fundamental question. Why are we funding research in a lab in Wuhan, China in the first place? Why are we doing that? I think the American people like to know especially what they've went through over the last year. And just as important, just as important, Mr. Chairman, why won't this committee, the only committee in the United States Congress focused solely on the coronavirus, why won't we look into how this thing started? I think the American people like an answer to that question.